Hey, GED students. Um, I had a student send in this tricky composite uh, figure problem or composite shape problem. So it says find the area of the composite figure. Now a lot of times on the GED, you know, we've been given an area formula. But if you look at this shape, it's like, what is this shape? Is this a square? Is this a rectangle? It's got that little circly piece cut out of it. What is it exactly? Well, you know, that's the issue. That's what we're talking about when we talk about composite figures. Composite figures are built one of two ways. Either they're built by putting shapes together, like for example, you could put together a couple of rectangles and build like an L shape, or they're built by, uh, you know, taking shapes apart, like holes. And that's how this one is. Um, what I see here is, notice these markings here, that I have these two little dashes on this line, uh, as well as this one. Uh, this would have been a uh, 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter square. Why do I say this side is 20 centimeter? Well, that's what those little dashes mean. If I put the same number of dashes on a side, it means that those sides are congruent. They're, they're equal, basically, in measurement. So this would be a 20 by 20 square, except for there's a piece missing from it. You can see we've kind of like cut out this piece here. Um, and so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my math that way. I'm going to take that big shape, uh, so the original shape seems to be a square, and mathematically I'm going to cut out or remove a piece. I'm going to remove this piece. Now, what is that piece? Well, clearly it's round, but it's not totally a circle, but they were really nice to us on this problem. By the way, this problem is from Mr. Jensen's classroom. But anyway, they were really nice to us on this problem. They said, the cutout uh, is a quarter circle. So I know what that is. This is a quarter of a circle. So I could literally remove a quarter of the area of a circle. Now students say to me all the time, can I do that? Can I just, if it's a quarter circle, can I just quarter the area? Yes, exactly. That's, that's what that means. So I'm going to, uh, you know, find the area of the circle and I'm going to take a quarter of it or a fourth of it. I'm going to break that into four equal pieces. Okay. So let's start with our square. In fact, you know what? Let's even use a different color for the square. So looking at this square, you can see this square is a 20 uh, by 20 square. And so to find the area of a square, since we're finding the area of this composite figure, I want to find the area of each piece, our formula sheet says that you should take the side length and square it. That's what the GED formula sheet means. What does that mean? Basically, you're just going to square 20. It's a 20 by 20 square. And so that's what I'll do. A is equal to 20 squared, or 20 times 20. You can do that in your GED calculator, or hopefully you can square nice round numbers in your head. Uh, but I do get 400 square centimeters. So 400 square centimeters is what I'd get if I found this whole square. But I don't have that whole square, right? I have this piece taken out. So I need to remove this piece. In order to remove it, I better figure out how big this piece is. So we said it was a quarter of a circle. Okay, so obviously I'm going to take, um, maybe I shouldn't say obviously because it's not obvious to everybody, but you know, I'll take the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, and then I'll quarter it. I'll just divide it by four, which is the same thing as taking one fourth of something. So that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. Okay, take a uh, the area of a circle formula and then quarter it, divide it into four equal pieces. Okay, so let's do that. So pi is about 3.14, close enough for government work. That's what we usually use on the GED. And now the radius of this circle. Now this is where we get tricky. So let me draw the whole circle. Whoa, that's a very wacky looking circle. So that I can see the radius. The radius goes from the outside to the center. So it looks like this little missing piece here is the radius, the R. That's the thing I need. Well, it's not marked, so let's go figure out how long that piece is. So here's a couple things I do now. I know the side length of the square. The side length is 20 full centimeters. So that's how long this whole piece would be as well, 20 centimeters, okay? But I have this little bite taken out, you know? Um, and that part, when I took it out, left 10 remaining. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out that 10, and that'll tell me that the piece removed is also actually 10 centimeters. So this radius here is 10 centimeters, okay? 
So I got a radius of 10 centimeters, and just to explain it another way, because 10 and 10 make 20, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna plug that 10 in for the radius, and then whatever answer I get, I'm not gonna forget to divide it by four, so that I have only a quarter of a circle. So let's try it. 3.14 times 10 squared, or 100, divided by four uh, gives me 78.5. Okay, so what did I just figure out? I just figured out that my entire square was 400 square centimeters, but this little piece I've removed is 78.5 centimeters. So let me remove the piece. Mathematically, how could I do that? Well, I said I would subtract. So I'm gonna take that 400 of that total square. I'm gonna subtract the 78.5 square centimeters, and that should give me the area of my remaining piece. And this is pretty much how we always do composite shape problems. We're either adding together pieces that have been stuck together or subtracting out uh, cutouts. And I get 321.5 square centimeters. And there were no directions about rounding on this, so I'm just going to leave it there with that approximation of pi. About 321, 322 square centimeters. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.